man has this inherent desire to know God, but man also has this inherent belief that he can't trust God because God is not a good God. So religion says, based on my opinions, based on my judgments of God, I have this way that I believe if I do it this way, I will get all of the benefits that God said that we can have. And I don't really have to deal with God and all of his commandments and all of his rules and all, all that kind of stuff. Faith, on the other hand, says, because I know God's a good God and because I know I can trust him, I trust what he says, so I will approach God on his terms. So every time we approach God, we are either approaching God on our terms or we are approaching God on his terms. Now, I want you to understand something. Every person has it in them, every person. It doesn't matter who you are, how old you are. I mean, unless you have just given up, lost all hope, every person has in him the inherent drive, desire, hunger for a better quality of life. Now, one of the things we know, research reveals this, human history reveals this, is that quality of life has little to do with what we have in the physical world, even though it has the, how, what we have in the physical world, what's going on around us, yes, that is important to our quality of life. But we have found that the seed of quality of life is what's going on inside us. It doesn't matter if you've got everything, if you've lost your soul. It doesn't matter if you're, mar you know, if you're married to a beautiful woman, but you've got a horrible marriage, you're not, you're not happy, you don't have a quality of life. If you've got piles of money in the bank and you're so afraid that you're going to lose it, that you're always finding some way to cheat the government and cheat people and, and protect it, you don't have a quality of life. I mean, if, if you've got all of the kids that you have always wanted, the big family, but you know, they're on drugs, they're running wild, they're going to prison, they're horrible, they're rebellious, they despise you, you don't have quality of life. And so we have tried to gain quality of life by really all of these things out here instead of dealing first with these things in here. Because the real truth is, when you got quality of life in here, it will permeate, it will, it will invade the world around you, and it will produce around you a world that mirrors the world that is going on inside you.